What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. NG Models is finally back, you guys. This is the NG Models April 2021 releases. Let's get started. Now, these releases are truly a banger because this is the first release in which we have uh, NG's new 737-700 and 737-900 ER molds. So I'm really excited for this, but uh, yeah, let's get started. So starting off here, we have this United 737 dash 700 this is in the old continental livery this is what it looks like it looks pretty nice uh of course i have to pick this up i'm i feel like i'm obliged to pick this up because uh united fly all all their 737s that are currently in service there uh to newark as you guys know i do newark so they fly all of their 737s to newark um 77 700s 800 900 ERs, 900s they also fly the 77 maxes uh to newark too so i have to pick this up uh i, d I do see these all the time at newark um i'm thinking of just getting one as uh there is the new blue evolution livery uh i think uh her, i was i just watched aviation 18's release video on this he said he's probably gonna wait uh till they release um a new uh in the one of the new deliveries so that's probably what i'm gonna do but i'm still gonna pick up one of these just um to make newark a little bit more modern uh with 77 700s you know just to make newark a little bit more realistic because as you guys know i have a lot of 77 800s uh but yeah this is the united continental globe livery not registration is november 16732 it's got one to 400 the price is 45.59 and also has these split scimitar ones. We're going on the line. This one is going to sell like wildfire. I can tell you guys that right now. This is the Southwest 737-700. This is in the Canyon Blue with split scimitars. Uh, nothing really much else to say about it. it looks to be a normal Southwest livery. Uh, registration is November 252 Whiskey November and 252 WM. And this is going to sell out really fast. Um, any Southwest model sells out really fast. 737-900s, the 737-800s, and the... Uh, and the state liveries, everything, everything Southwest in what in the model collecting community sells out fast. Uh, but yeah, it's the Southwest 737-700 Canyon Blue. You guys should get this while you can because it's going to sell out. Um, but yeah, registration number 252 Whiskey November and 252 WM. It's scale 1 to 400 and the price is 45 59 We're going online. I'm so happy. I, I'm... Oh my god, finally. Dude, I'm... I'm pumped. This is the Southwest 737-900ER in the One World livery. So as many of you know, or don't know, uh, if you've been living under a rock, Southwest joined One World on April 1st, I believe. They joined uh, One World Alliance, which is why it's in the One World livery. It's a normal Alaska 737-900, except with One World plastered all over it. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited because they finally, NG finally came through. They finally used the 737-900s. And I... I know for a fact I need this for New York. Because Southwest, you guys always see that on and go through serve. That really isn't accurate. I think that once I get this 737, if I get this 737 uh, 900 uh, mold, uh, by the way, the registration is on November 487 Alpha Sierra and 487 AS. Both of the Alaskas are 1 to 400, except this one, the normal livery one, is uh, the normal livery Alaska on uh, the normal, sorry, the normal livery. Alaska 737-900 is November 44 Alpha Sierra and 434 AS. So, just just showing you guys. But yeah, like I like I was saying before. I'm sorry for interrupting. Basically, I think that if I do end up getting this, I'm probably gonna end up just um, using the 737-800 for the route to Shipmouth International Airport for AV for my friend Aviation 6. I collabed with them a few videos ago, so go check it out. I'll put a card up right now. But uh, yeah. I definitely am gonna get this because I need it for Newark. Uh, Southwest fly to Newark using so, so many aircraft. And um, yeah, so basically I need this. I'm gonna get this for Newark. And uh, yeah, moving on down the line, we have a United States Air Force Vickers VC-32A. Uh, not Vickers, I'm sorry. It's, it's just, it's a VC-32A. Um, this, <laughs> this is, for those of you who custom models, this would be the easiest model for you guys to custom. Because, like, literally, there's so little stuff you need to do. Just erase, erase the US Air Force, erase this stuff back here, and you have a completely clean model for customing. Um, but, the US Air Force Vickers 
BC32. A lot of you probably are gonna get this uh, if you're building Air Force bases or, you know, uh, for Della's, you know, for those Washington DC airports. I'm personally not gonna get it. I only get the models that I need from these releases because I'm very short on money. But, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's really bland. I mean, it's probably what the aircraft looks like in real life, but it's really bland, man. It's, it's just white and black. But, uh, yeah, that was that. And the, uh, it's scale 1 to 400. The price is 4559. And the registration on it is 99-6143. We went online, we have, I'm sorry, here we have a DHL, two DHL 767s, uh, 757s, Th this is hilarious, I can't believe this, so DHL, apparently they painted two of their 757s into, uh, Grand Tour liveries, basically, if those of you don't know, I think Grand Tour is what precedes Top Gear, so basically it was Top Gear and now it's Grand Tour. Uh, basically Richard Hammond, uh, James May, and uh, Jeremy Clarkson, they all uh, host this like, car TV show. Personally, I I'm gonna admit, I watched the Grand Tour, um, but yeah. This is a DHL 757-200, Registration Golf Delta Hotel Kilo Kilo. This is in the James May Hero Force 1 livery, um, GDHA DHKK. But it's one to four hundred. The price is forty five fifty nine. And moving on down the line, this is even funnier. They may I can't believe them. They actually, <laughs> they actually made a Jeremy Clarkson one too. What? This is the flying orangutan one. Uh, to DHL seven fifty seven two hundred with James uh, with uh, Jeremy Clarkson just plastered on it. <laughs> um, his nickname is Flying Orangutan. Uh, it's an Australian registration this time, Victor Hotel Tango uh, Charlie Alpha VHTCA. It's scale 1 to 400 and the price is 45.59. Now, um, I know, ironically, uh, Hammond, Richard Hammond is like the shortest one of the group, and yet he's placed on a 767. I'm, I'm gonna try to put up a picture, I'm gonna see what I can do in uh, when I'm gonna edit this video. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put up a picture, but um, yeah, I, I might be putting up a picture right now, but yeah, that was the Richard Hammond one. Uh, this was the Jeremy Clarkson one, and uh, yeah, let's move on down the line. Now, lately, I've been noticing this NG have really been milking their um. You, they've really been milking their 747 SP mold. Um, like the last time in February, they released two 747 SPs, uh, and I believe in January, they released like, another two of them. So they're really milking the 747 SP mold. But uh, yeah. Moving on the line, we have this United Airlines uh, 747 SP. This is in the uh, battleship livery. Um, this is going to be nice for those of you who are retro collectors. Personally, I'm not going to get it, I don't need it. I don't collect any retro models whatsoever. Um, as like, I'm, I think what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna start like branching out and collecting models that I don't really need. Uh, and once I finish, once I complete Newark and uh, and uh, Atlanta, not Atlanta, uh, Atlantic City. Uh, once I complete those two reports, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start collecting retro models and like you know models that I like. But for now, I just have to really focus on the models that I need for Newark. But yeah, this is United 747 SP. Registration is a November 4-5 Uniform Alpha. I believe it's November 4-4-5. Uh, is it? Yeah, no, no November 1-4-5 Uniform Alpha. It's coming on the forge. It's $57. My God. Moving on the line, we have two Qantas 747 SPs. They are essentially the same uh, from what it looks like. Um, this one is in the official care of Brisbane livery, Brisbane, Australia. Um... It's gonna be popular with those of you who are retro collectors once again, and the only difference is this one is just a 747 SP, except without the Brisbane thing here. This one is Victor Hotel uh, Echo Alpha Alpha V H E A A E A A yeah, and then the one in the um, Brisbane uh, thingy, uh, Future Care of Brisbane 1982. Uh, the registration is Victor Hotel Alpha Echo Bra uh, Alpha. Sorry, Victor Hotel Echo Alpha Bravo V H E A B. And of course, uh, it's going one to four hundred prices for three bucks. We want a line. Um, what is this airline? All right, so this is Sun Class Airlines AT twenty one. I'm gonna be honest, I never heard of this airline prior to this. Um, 
it just appears to be a Sun Class 8021. There's nothing much to say about it. Um, it's probably going to be popular with Scandinavian collectors because it looks like it has a Scandinavian registration with Oscar, Yankee, Tango, Charlie, Foxtrot, OYTCF. It seems to be uh, either Norwegian or Scandinavian registered. Uh, so it's, uh, I think it's a Charter Airline Sun Class. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. It's an 8021. Price is one, uh, it's one of 400. The price is 45 Moving on down the line, you know, I, I honestly feel like Gemini and NG are copying each other because Gemini hinted that they're going to be releasing this uh, Qantas, AT Qantas Freight 8021, and now NG's uh, releasing it, and the like, JC is planning to release it. it, it it's nuts. I honestly sometimes do feel like these model companies are copying each other. But uh, yeah, here we have an Australia, here we have an Australia Post uh, Qantas Freight 8021 registration. Victor Hotel Uniform Lima Delta. There's not really much to say about it. I mean, that's painted in Qantas livery. You just took the livery off of the fuselage and just plastered Australia Post on it. But uh, yeah, registration is Victor Hotel Uniform Lima Delta, V H U L D. It's one of four. It's on the price is forty five fifty nine. Oh, oh, it's also the world's first AT twenty one freighter. That's interesting. That's good to know. Moving on the line. Moving on down the line. We have this Cathay Pacific AT21 Neo. Um, not much to say about it, it's just a Cathay Pacific AT21 Neo. And this is another one of those instances where I feel like model companies are copying each other because I think another model company, be it, I think either Gemini or JC, um, they've already released this where they are going to release it. I think it's Aero Classics. Is it? No, it's just one of those companies uh, that's going to be releasing uh, this exact same model. So I, this is one of those instances where I feel like model companies are copying each other. But uh, yeah, which is just Bravo Hotel Papa Bravo B H B B. Um, it's one of four hundred. The price is forty five fifty nine. On down the line. Okay. This this is one this is one that I will get. This is one that I need to This is a Lufthansa E thirty three hundred. This is in their new twenty nineteen delivery. Now, those of you who don't know, Lufthansa flies to Newark, they fly uh, from Frankfurt to Frankfurt and Munich from Newark. Uh, they fly to Munich on the AT5900 and then to Frankfurt on the AT3300 and the AT4300. Um, I told you guys that I was going to uh, that I wanted to get the AT4300 that Gemini released uh, a few months ago. I decided not to, uh, as that's really only flying occasionally to Newark, while the AT3300 flies daily. As a matter of fact, a few days ago, I actually spotted on Flight Radar 24, I spotted flying over my house. So, uh, yeah, this is a Lufthansa AT3300 in the 2019 livery. I'm obviously going to get this for Newark, which is Delta Alpha India Kilo Romeo D8. A I K R, um, and it's one of four hundred. And the price is fifty-five bucks. Moving on down the line, we have an Airbus A three hundred and fifty nine hundred. Wow, this is gonna look phenomenal on a G C A three hundred and fifty. And Bravo, NG. This lo this looks phenomenal. This is the Airflot A three hundred and fifty nine hundred normal Airflot livery, but this is gonna look phenomenal on G C A three on NG's AT50s. Uh, not really much more to say about it. Registration is Victor Papa Bravo X Ray Delta VP -E EXD BXD. Uh, it's scale 1 to 400, and the price is $57. Moving on to the last uh, aircraft of this release, we have uh, okay, we have this Airbus A350. Uh, it appears to be in some sort of house livery. This this looks pretty cool, man. Like if I if I was just like freelance collecting, like if I wasn't doing any airport, I'd probably collect this model. Cause th this this looks, I'd probably pick this up if I had if if I had. Honestly, I probably would pick this up pick this model up because this looks really really cool. This is the uh, Airbus A350 in the house livery. It has Aerospace Explorer up here. It says XWB, so it's obviously a 900 XWB, and you have this like black and gray carbon design. It looks really cool. Uh, yeah, that's what the aircraft looks like. Registration is Foxtrot Whiskey Whiskey Charlie Foxtrot FWWCF. It's coming to 400 and the price is $57. Alright, wow. This is this is one of the best releases that I've seen from NG so far. We have United Southwest Alaska. We have Lufthansa, Aeroflot, Cathay Pacific, Qantas, Sunclass. Everything all in one. Good job, NG. 
But yeah, that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss more videos. Uh, and comment down below what you're getting from these releases. Personally, I'm getting the United 737-700 in the content delivery. Probably only get one of these. I'm going to get the Alaska 737-900ER. And I'm also going to get the Lufthansa A330-300. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.